speaking to you now from the Garden of Gethsemane, just outside Jerusalem. And on that first Maundy Thursday, Jesus gathered with his disciples in the upper room for the Last Supper. And after the meal was finished, he wanted to find a place to pray. So he came out from the city, through the city walls, which we can see behind here, down into the Kidron Valley, and up the other side, a short distance, to the foot of the Mount of Olives, into the Garden of Gethsemane. Gethsemane means oil press because this was a large olive grove. Here we just have a small section of that where you can see ancient olive trees and it captures for us a vignette of that moment of Jesus' life when he had to wrestle with the decisions that were uh, before him. It was a crucial moment in his life where in this quiet place he prayed and asked God his father what it was that he asked of him and asked to be given the strength to see it through and right here beside the garden is the church of all nations also called the church of the agony because this was Jesus's agonized moment in his prayer and the centerpiece of the church is a rock which commemorates the moment of Jesus's that moment of prayer in Jesus's life as he came with his deep questions and it is suggestive for us also of our own life of prayer and shows us that we can bring our honest questions too. Just outside the walls there is a continuation of the rock. Here we can see the rock which continues all the way into the church. But those who have not been able to touch the rock inside because the service is going on will often stop right here for their own prayers. At that moment, in the midst of prayer, the mood suddenly changed because Judas, his betrayer, came into the garden leading the soldiers to identify Jesus to him. That moment of betrayal in a garden is suggestive of that first garden and the sin in the first garden, the sin of disobedience, uh, which through which at least mythically we imagine sin came into the world and here another sin led towards the reconciliation that was Jesus's true vocation so from one garden to this garden the breaking and the healing And for us, in Lent and Holy Week, we are invited to go deep into that place of honesty. We are taken to some difficult places. This is not a story that is all brightness, happiness and joy. This is a story in which we plumb the depths of the human experience of loss, of death, of fear, of utter brokenness. So in Lent and Holy Week, we are invited to explore those things in our own hearts which are demanding and difficult. And we can bring those to God in prayer because we know that Jesus went before us. And I don't know whether it is something about the prayers that so many pilgrims have brought in times before into this beautiful place but there is a palpable sense of prayer and peace here and it's a privilege an honor every time to be able to come and to share it with you in this way today